What's up guys? So this is the fourth video in the series on how to automate your React Native app releases using Fastlane. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build and release to production, including uploading all of our screenshots and metadata about the app, you know, title, keywords, description, things like that. So let's get started. We'll create our release lane. In our release lane, we're going to create another lane similar to staging build, but for release. Then we're going to create another lane called screenshots. Then we'll use the deliver action, which is a built-in fast lane action to upload our build and all metadata screenshots to the app store. And then we will copy commit version bump and push to get remote. And we'll add it down to the release lane because we're gonna do the same thing here, just commit the changes and push it to the remote branch. Okay, let's uh, build our release build lane. We'll create a private lane. Down there, we call it the release build. This is gonna be real similar to our staging build. So we'll go ahead and copy this down here. We'll change staging to release. Right now, our staging build and release build lanes are so similar that we could probably combine them into just one lane. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep them separate because as we build apps and as you know they get more complicated or we wanna do environment specific things, we want it to be easier if they're separated. Okay, so let's build our screenshots lane. We need to run the detox commands for building the app and then the command for testing the app. So we can do that with a sh. We'll do detox and we want to build the iOS configuration. And then below that, after the build's finished, then we will run the test command for the iOS configuration. If we ran this right now, we would get a big fat error because these commands would run in the directory of Fastlane. And if you remember, our Fastlane is one level deep. It's not the top level. So we need to run these commands one level higher than the directory that we're currently in. So we can do So now we'll go up one level, and this code will run in the parent directory. All right, we've created our release build lane. We've created our screenshots lane. Now it's time to set up deliver. To set up, the, to set up deliver in our app, all we got to do is run fast lane deliver in it. So all you gotta do is put in the bundle identifier for your app here and Deliver will automatically pull down all the existing information about your app from the App Store. So just for the sake of showing you guys how this works, I'm gonna use a bundle identifier from one of my apps that's live in the App Store now. Okay guys, you'll see we got this Deliver file. In this deliver file, we'll, uh, we can pre-fill in some information here. And you'll also see this folder metadata. And in here, this is all the metadata for our app. So we have the category, 
Second category. Something that's really cool that we can do with Fastlane and Deliver is we can handle all of the localization for different app stores and languages. All we have to do is just give it a separate folder within the metadata. And then when we deploy our app, the appropriate metadata for that specific localization will be uploaded for that uh, lo the localized listing in the app store. So we're all done with iOS release. There's a lot more you can do. I encourage you guys to look into Fastlane and see all the different options you can do. But we, you know, we got a solid release here. Build, automatically create all of our screenshots, automatically frame our screenshots, automatically upload the build screenshots and any metadata we've changed. Then it'll commit the changes and push it to our Git repo. So let's do Android now. We'll do the same thing. We'll create a lane here called a release. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy from the beta because it's going to be pretty similar. So we're going to increment the version code, but we also want to go ahead and bump the version. So we'll do increment version name it's going to be the same app project directory and then bump type it's going to be patch so this is another built-in fast lane action so we'll update the version code then we'll bump the patch version number by one so next here we have our gradle clean gradle build so for supply, we'll change the track per, to production. And we'll pass in another parameter here called release status. And we'll make this draft. And what that means is it's going to create our new release, but it's not going to publish it. That way we can just log into the, the Google Play Store console and just give it a you know quick once over before we release it and make sure you know everything looks all right. So the thing about uh, supply for Android is we can do the same thing as deliver for iOS. So if we run Fastlane supply in it, then we'll initialize supply and it will pull down all of our metadata for the Android version of our app. So we got this Android folder now, and that folder contains the metadata for the Android side of our app. Now whenever we run the supply command to upload our build, any changes we make to these files in the metadata will also get uploaded with it. You know, the other thing that's nice about having all your metadata in here is you have a git history of all the changes you've made to your app metadata versus just changing it within the app store. Um, it's nice for different things, you know, like if you're gonna A-B test some things, you have uh, that kind of history and it's just nice to have. You know, now we have a really awesome pipeline that we can build and deploy either an iOS or Android app. Tons of cool automation already built in and tons more that you guys can, you know, configure on your own to match whatever you need. We got one more video coming up after this. It's the last one. It's going to be how to automate code push releases. And if you're not familiar with code push, it's a project from Microsoft to do over the air updates. So we can update our app uh, without going through the App Store or Play Store at all. Um, so make sure you guys subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. See you soon.